plenty of punches thrown back and forth tonight in Grand Rapids. She's going to try to attack me tonight to distract from her broken promises. Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Tudor Dixon sharing the stage for one hour with both candidates trying to paint the other as radical. Mrs. Dixon is either woefully underinformed about the office she's running for or she's lying to you. Well, for the first time in Michigan history, two women have the gubernatorial nominations of the two major parties. Meeting tonight on a debate stage in Grand Rapids, Mara McDonald live there at this hour. And Mara, tonight's debate comes just 26 days until Election Day. We had to wait a while to get here for this first one. Devin, I'll tell you what, if anyone thought that this was going to be some sort of kinder, gentler debate because you have two women helming the two major parties here, they were sadly mistaken. Take a look. For many of you, it's the first time you're hearing from me directly. Dixon's campaign has not been able to fundraise and is at a serious cash disadvantage versus Governor Whitmer. Tonight was an opportunity to showcase herself, and she did, extremely well prepared and on the attack for the entire hour. In her first answer, she's already being dishonest. This is obviously going to be a theme for the night. I think it's really ironic when Mrs. Dixon stands here and says that she will accept the vote, the will of the people. This is a candidate who still denies the outcome of the 2020 election. This is a candidate who will not pledge to accept the outcome of the November 8th election. Back and forth all night long, lobbying haymakers. What a debacle to have eight and a half billion dollars fraudulently sent out. Now I've got people bringing bills from the state up to me, begging me to forgive the unemployment that she's trying to get out back. She is too dangerous and too out of touch to be trusted with protecting our kids. She'll put the Second Amendment before second graders every time. We cannot let that happen. Because we know the governor came out and said that she supports the spirit of defund the police. In fact, we know that when we were all locked down, she went out and marched with folks who held up signs that said defund the police. My opponent is long on rhetoric and short on facts, and that's okay. I gotta tell you, as a former prosecutor, I have sat with our law enforcement. I have worked arm in arm with them. And that's why the budgets that I have written have been focused on supporting. Back here live, Tudor Dixon rolled into tonight as if this debate and her, and her campaign depended on it. Um, it, it, it was an, uh, an, an appearance here that was markedly different than what we saw out of her in the GOP primary debates. Now, whether this changes things for her and the GOP donor class returns, I guess we're going to have to wait and see. We're live in Grand Rapids tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. That's so right, Mara. She's really struggled here to raise money financially. We'll see if uh, money starts to come in here with, as I said, just about a little more than three weeks to go.